The intent of this video is to discuss the rationale as to why Hiroshima and Nagasaki were selected as the targets for the atomic bombing mission. We will also clear up misconceptions regarding bomb usage and target selection. This includes planned usage and date of a third bomb, was Tokyo ever considered a target for atomic bombing, and if Atomic Bomb Targeting Committee identified targets as off-limits to conventional bombing so the effects of the atomic bomb could be evaluated. This is a part two video in the channel's atomic bombing series. There were several meetings and discussions regarding which cities should be on the atomic bomb target list. Multiple city target criteria points, sometimes conflicting, as shown on this page from a declassified April 27, 1945 document titled, Notes on the Initial Meeting of the Target Committee. All of the images shown in this video are declassified. The initial target selection requirements include maximum range will be 1,500 miles to the target and 1,500 miles back. The bomb shall be released by visual sighting, no radar or blind bombing. Need to have accurate weather information over the target. Need to estimate the bomb damage. What will be the state of the cities bombed by conventional bombing in July, August, and September 1945? Two backup secondary targets should be selected in addition to the primary target. The base of the atomic bombers was selected to be the island of Tinian. The distance from Tinian to Tokyo is 1,450 miles, as discussed on this February 24, 1945 memo titled, The Base of Operations of the 509th Composite Group. This map from a U.S. Army document titled, Atlas of the World's Battlefronts in Semi-Monthly Phases, shows the extent of Japanese-controlled territories as of August 1, 1945. Tinian is located here. The straight line paths to Tokyo, Hiroshima, and Nagasaki are shown in these views. The following information was provided by the 20th Air Forces to the Atomic Bomb Targeting Committee based on their experiences. The ultimate range of the B-29 bomber is 1,500 miles at an altitude of 30,000 feet. 21st Bomber Command provided 33 targets as on their priority list for conventional bombing. The 20th Air Forces also weighed in on the atomic bomb target selection. They indicated that the city of Hiroshima has not been bombed and is not on Bomber Command's priority list for conventional bombing. Yawata should be considered for atomic bombing based on its steel industry. Yokohama is also lower on the conventional bombing list in priority. Tokyo may be considered, but it is well destroyed, burned out, and now rebel due to the firebomb raids. Only Hirohito's palace grounds remain. Tokyo is, a, is the most protected area by fighters and anti-aircraft flat guns. This chart outlines all of Tokyo bombing events by the 21st Bomber Command from a September 1945 Office of Statistical Control document titled Locations of Targets, 20th Air Force. 2,964 B-29s dropped 16,401 tons of bombs on Tokyo during World War II. That's roughly one-fourth the weight of bombs dropped on Berlin by the 8th Army Air Forces and RAF in World War II. The urban area firebomb sorties are highlighted. This map shows the burned out areas of Tokyo from a September 1945 Assistant Chief of the Air Staff document titled Impact, Air Victory Over Japan. 20th Air Force's goal is to lay waste to all main Japanese cities. 20th Air Forces will not save any city from conventional bombing so that it can be attacked with atomic bombs. Their goal is to bomb the heck out of Tokyo and paralyze Japan's aircraft industry. Their goal is to systematically destroy these cities and not leave one stone on top of another. Targets for consideration should be large urban areas at 3 miles in diameter or greater in large populated areas. Targets should be between Tokyo and Nagasaki. Aiming points should have a high strategic value. The proposed list of 17 potential candidate city targets was provided. Pick targets that have not already been destroyed. Need to estimate the size of bomb burst damage, and the number of people killed expected within the bomb's lethal distance. The second meeting of the target committee was held two weeks later on May 10th and 11th, as described within this cover page of the meeting minutes. The committee members and follow-up meeting members are listed here. The meeting agenda topics are listed here. 
The Atomic Bomb Target Committee evaluated and down-selected the city list for meeting two discussion. They all have important targets in large urban areas at more than three miles in diameter. They will all be affected by the atomic blast. They will not likely be attacked by 21st Bomber Command by conventional raids through August 1945. Bomber Command is willing not to bomb these five targets unless unforeseen circumstances arise. Kyoto is a large urban industrial target of 1 million. It is a good target from a psychological point of view since it is the intellectual center of Japan. Hiroshima has an army depot and port with a large urban industrial area. It will be extensively damaged. The surrounding hills will focus the blast. It is not considered a good incendiary target. Yokohama has remained untouched so far. The largest concentrations of anti-aircraft guns in Japan exist at Yokohama. Consider this city as a secondary target if bad weather forces diversions from the primary target. Kokura has, a, has the largest arsenal in Japan and is surrounded by large urban industrial structures. Niigata is a port of embarkation city. The target committee discussed bombing the Emperor's Palace in Tokyo. It was not recommended, but the higher-ups may decide to place this on the target list at a future date. The May 10th, 11th, 1945 target list now includes Kyoto, Hiroshima, Yokohama, and Kokura. Other target topics discussed in the meeting included, psychological factors should be considered in target selection. The bomb needs to have the greatest spectacular effect on Japan and be internationally recognized. Kyoto's population is considered more intelligent and will appreciate the significance of the weapon. Because of the topography of Hiroshima, most of the city will be destroyed. The Emperor's Palace has more fame than any of the other targets, but has no strategic value. There was a third target committee meeting on May 28, 1945, but the topics were bombing logistics and not target selection. The interim committee met on May 31, 1945 to review the atomic bomb status, progress, and collect opinions as shown on this meeting minutes cover page. The chairman of the committee was Secretary of War Henry Stimson. Committee members are listed here. The invited scientists list is shaded here, and the special invitation list is shaded here. Stimson indicated that there was committee agreement regarding usage of the atomic bomb, that no Japanese warning should be given, should not concentrate on civilian areas, but make a profound psychological impression. It was agreed the bomb should be used on a vital war plant surrounded by workers' housings. Oppenheimer indicated that the visual effects of the bomb will be tremendous. The radiation lethal radius will be at least two-thirds of a mile from ground zero. This July 24, 1945 memo for General Arnold titled The Groves Project outlines the final target selection location and rationale. This memo was dated eight days after the Trinity test and 13 days before the Hiroshima mission. Hiroshima was selected as a major army site, major port of embarkation, large QM, and supply depot. I can't seem to find the definition of QM. If you know, please write in the comment section of the video. Nagasaki is considered a major shipping and industrial center. Kokura has the largest army arsenals and railroad shop in Kyushu. Niigata is an important industrial center for machine tools and a key shipping port. Political and industrial leaders reside in these cities. There is a high probability at least one of these targets will be available due to weather. Notice that Kyoto was removed from the target list. Targets selected should have dense built frame urban areas as to take advantage of the bomb's blast and heat effects as discussed in this 1945 Manhattan Engineering District document titled The Atomic Bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Target should also have high military strategic value. The first target has the additional criteria as being untouched by conventional bombing so the atomic bomb damage effects can be evaluated. Channel commentary. This is why Hiroshima was selected for the first attack. The importance of the first atomic bomb target to be on an unattacked city is again discussed in this August 1945 headquarters of the 20th Air Force Tactical Mission Report. The rationale is based on post-bomb damage assessment and economical usage of the bomb. 
Four cities out of the original 17 fulfilled this requirement, Kyoto, Kyukura, Hiroshima, and Niigata. Kyoto was removed by request of the U.S. Secretary of War, Henry Stimson, due to its cultural significance. The city of Nagasaki was swapped out for Kyoto. Hiroshima is an important industrial city and was the largest city not firebombed, except for Kyoto. Kokura and Nagasaki are good targets, but they have POW camps nearby. Nagasaki is the poorest of the three targets. This map lists the war effort industry or facility in each Japanese city. This list was used for prioritizing conventional bombing efforts of the 21st Bomber Command. The first column is the Japanese city name in alphabetical order. The subsequent columns are the industries within that city. Hiroshima is not on the list. Kokura is in this row. It has war effort targets including an iron and steel mill, munitions factory, and a chemical plant. Nagasaki has shipping listed. Niigata lists railway equipment factory and oil refinery and storage are its war supporting industries. To reiterate, the vital war industries and military facilities listed on this chart and map were compiled by 21st Bomber Command for determining their target selection for conventional bombing. Channel commentary. This chart likely provides a better evaluation of the significance of the city's strategic military value than the Atomic Bombing Targeting Committee's evaluation. City target pecking order can be ascertained based on the primary, secondary, and tertiary target list from the actual atomic bombing missions and on the information discussed from the target and interim committee reports. I would list in order of importance Hiroshima, Kokura, Nagasaki, Niigata. During Mission 16, Boxcar bombed the secondary target of Nagasaki and Louvre the primary target of Kokura. This was due to weather visibility issues over Kokura, as discussed on this page from a 1945 History of the 509th Composite Group document. These images are the damage maps of Hiroshima and Nagasaki from the Tactical Mission Reports. Let's address the following questions and clear up misconceptions. Were certain cities off limits for conventional bombing so the effects of the atomic bombing could be assessed? Not initially. 21st Bomber Command clearly stated they would not reserve cities for the atomic bombing. They then reversed this policy for five atomic bomb city targets. The policy reversal was discussed in the May 10, 1945 Atomic Bomb Target Committee meeting minutes. Why was Hiroshima selected for the first atomic bombing mission? Mainly because it was untouched by previous bombing constructed of densely packed structures which would be well susceptible to the atomic bomb. It did not have significant strategic military value. 21st Bomber Command had not listed any significant war industries or facilities in Hiroshima which would warrant conventional bombing. Why was Nagasaki selected for atomic bombing? It was a secondary target as Kokura was the primary target for that day. It was selected due to its shipbuilding and port location. When would the third atomic bomb be available? This memo, dated August 10, 1945, from General Groves to the Chief of Staff, states the third atomic bomb could be ready for usage on August 17th or 18th. Was Tokyo the target for the third atomic bomb when it became available? Tokyo was considered but eliminated from the primary target list by both the target and interim committees. Tokyo was already in rubble. It had no strategic value. Only the Emperor's Palace would be considered a viable target. I believe the basis for Tokyo as a recipient of the third atomic bomb is this Foreign Office memo dated August 14, 1945, where Truman relays in a phone call to the British Duke of Windsor his intent to drop an atomic bomb on Tokyo. It is likely that he had said this in a moment of frustration. In future videos, we will focus on the Hiroshima and Nagasaki missions, the effect of the bombs, the B-29 modifications to make them atomic bomb ready, and the bomb's influence on Japanese surrender. Did any of the data or channel observations surprise you? Please consider commenting, liking, and or subscribing to the channel World War II U.S. Bombers.